Morning and all. Um, yeah, I just watching your um, video, Brian. You know about the weather and that. I, I wonder if we're in a sort of a transition. What I mean is, the weather has never been stable in the thousands of years, as, as far as we know. The geologists says it. They go back millions of years and reckon there was a massive great ice age for thousands of years, and then there was another one where it was boiling up for thousands of years. So I don't know, it could be a sort of a transition period and we just had to be living in it. I don't know, I can never get this bloody picture right. Never mind. Um, yeah, now I thought I would do this rather than leave a comment, because uh, as you can see, in a few hours time I'm going to the Christmas party down the gym. <coughs> Funny enough, as usual, the last three days, and uh, three years, my wife's Christmas party at the Eleanor Hospice where she goes and is a member of the club has fallen on the same day again this year. Weird really because originally it was going to be on the 15th of this month and I don't know why some people said oh it's too late I don't know why they thought that but still. So they moved it to the 8th and funny enough I don't know what day it was but my wife said yesterday because we was up there yesterday she said even that theirs had been altered as well. And it still fell on the same day. Rather strange. Rather strange like the weather. I don't know why I've done that voice either. Um, so I'm not going to wear this there either. This is just for on here. So, it's what's called as a mad cat. Cool. Yeah, so I think that is what is probably happening. Having said that, I've seen the newsreels because I'd have only been a, oh, six or seven years of age. I think it was 1953 and they had these massive floods in the UK. Really devastating. So, it, I think it was a fairly new thing then. But it's just getting more and more now, isn't it? <coughs> you said coffee. <laughs> oh, God. Um, as I say, it could be in a transition. It could be quite normal or... Who knows, with governments and everything else, they could somehow influence the weather. Because once you can influence the weather, you rule the world, never mind wars. Imagine that, you know, and you could freeze a country like under ice. They wouldn't be able to move. Literally, nothing would be able to move. Communications, you wouldn't be able to get out of your house, nothing. So, control the weather, control the world. <laughs> Stupid wars. I, knew, I expect that is more devastating than the war. Oh, bollocks, I thought I had some coffee in there. Bloody heaven! <laughs> oh, so there, another mishap before I even go out. Yeah, so that's what I think it possibly could be. A transition, as Bowie record was said. I don't know when you'll get this. It's, uh... What was it, the ape? Something like that, so I don't know when you'll actually get it. Cool, I'll get the wash out of the way in there. God. Yeah, so they are. And it's going to be quite peaceful till Friday night here because this afternoon, my loud but deaf bossy boots don't tell me how to run my life daughter is on a sleepover for four days. Hey, a bit of peace before Christmas. Lovely girl and all that, but boy, does she wear you out. 21 years old. God. Murder, she is. Murder. Murder. Murder, I tell you. So it's going to be quite pleased with me and the wife. And then, of course, when the weekend comes, it's like a bomb hits the place again. It was time to tidy up a bit, I suppose, because you can never get the room as you want. I mean, my wife said she talked about uh, getting a flat. I mean, she's not working, but they would help her, like they help us pay, because, you know, uh, because we're disabled, you know, there's a different way we pay the rent. We didn't have to pay it at all until I was 65. I don't know why we suddenly had to pay it, but here you are. <coughs> and the council tax. Now, she's talked about leaving here and getting a flat fairly close to us, which would be all right because my wife, straight away, she said, all your stuff can go in her room. The computer. I said, no, 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 no. I said, the computer, the printer and stuff can stay in here. I said, but other stuff, 
Look, I've got so much stuff over there, some videos and things, and oh, just don't need them all the time. And women like a place to be, you know, aren't they? Me, it don't bother me. But So if she goes, we're going to put all the stuff in there. And just have more or less a tone with me printing and draw. I've got drawers full of tools and stuff here. And that's it, really. Just a few videos. I mean, me excuse me, me medication. That'll be it, because I don't use it all the time. <clears throat> it's, like, it's such a small place, this. Even after I disabled. Well, I'm going to hiccup in now. Just have me doors. Um, <clears throat> with that, she said, don't hold your breath, though. I said, oh. I was supposed to be seeing about it after Chrissy Mars. <coughs> and well, yeah. That's the only got a drink. Um, so, it could be just me. But, I mean, me and the wife on her own. As she gets to it, you imagine, I mean, it'd be two in troubles, wouldn't it? I mean, she don't do nothing around the house, like I said before. She knows how to do everything. But she's so lazy. But, of course, she'll have to find that out herself that she's got to do her own laundry and her own washing up and all the rest of it and if she ever does come up with benefits and gets a job it's not, it's not her fault there's not many jobs around I mean she's been through college and still can't get a job that she wants um, she then will I don't they won't help her out then you know like sub what they call subbing it and it, the rent and all the rest of it and she's got to realise that if she don't work, don't pay the rent, she's out in her ear hole. I mean, we wouldn't, how can I say this, we wouldn't want her back here because her room would be gone if you see what I mean. It would be even bloody worse. So, we'll have to see how that goes. You know, I mean, she, I mean, she was going to learn to drive. But she's changed her mind because there's so many mad people on the road, it's put her right off. But it, I mean, the wife's been, the other wife's been... Driving, what, 20 odd years? And I don't drive. Well, part of the mobility scooter, but... Um, it's put her off with all the crazy people. And, of course, this time of year, you've got them drunk, um, driving a car. Not I'm all right, I'm drunk, but, you know, but I can handle it. And then someone on drugs and someone on drink and drugs. I mean, terrible this time. We've had a few idiots already. Where did we go yesterday? Oh, we left the yellow ass club, and then we went to Dartford because we didn't go to Blue. We went to us last week. It's just too crowded, <coughs> and we had a meal and all that in the local Witherspoon. It's called the Flying Boat. Apparently, they used to make boats there before it was a uh, a Witherspoon. A flying boat, eh? I think you'd have to be drunk. Nice big place it is, you know, family place. Um, so we came from there. I can't remember what the hell I'm turning into that bit for now. I've got a great memory. <sighs> mm. Yeah, I can't remember that bit was what I was saying. But anyway, that was yesterday. And I've gone completely off the track of why I was saying we went yesterday. It was to illustrate, illustrate after me, something else I was thinking about. That's the trouble with me, you know. I forget words. Um, and I get confused but really I do my mum was the same I think so far ahead for some reason probably just the way I'm built like it by the time I get there I've forgotten what I'm talking about you know you jump my mum used to be exactly the same you know so I'm I don't know I get confused um But I know why, someone in. But my memory for names is terrible now. Faces are all right, but the names. Now, it's worldwide, so even, you know, in the US and Canada, you know, Top Gear. Well, I can remember the names of the other two, James May, Richard Hamilton, right? Do you think I can think of the big fella's name? My wife couldn't. I still can't this morning. Now, I can think of all the other names. Ridiculous, like. Now, if I'm thinking of one of them, I won't be able to think of him for so his name will come in. I can't think of his big man here. Oh, is it Gerald something? Or... Oh, I can't even think. Oh, it is weird, isn't it? Terrible, like. Only, <clears throat> you know, someone like 
I don't know, going away like Elvis Presley or Cliff Richard or Mozart, yeah. Sent it, I mean, long term memory is easy. I can remember everything in detail, but strange, isn't it? Short term memory it affects everybody like that, I think. Very strange. Anyway, I want to write off the beaten track as usual. And of course, I can't drink anymore, so I'll go out, come back as sober as I went out. I go to go to Hazard's first and pick up. And I didn't get my dinner, get a few bottles of wine, diet cokes, cakes, and stuff like that. The others are bringing cups and because you have to bring your own stuff, cups and plates and the rest of it. You generally get quite a lot there. I know they're not in the same room anymore, in a different room now. Um, so I should do that before I go. You know, I should probably stay in coffee there or well, and then uh, diet coke. You know, so that'll be it. So I should just see how silly the others get. Well, mind you, none of them get drunk. I mean, I haven't had a drink now for months and months because of the kidneys. But one of the fellas there, Lee, he reckons, he reckons I was drunk last year. I said, no, I won't. I said, I've got the old mobility. I said, I was fine, but he still reckons it. Now, I'm like my mum again there. If it, I mean, <laughs> she used to drink something called egg flip. She didn't drink much, only Christmas or sherry. And we was at a neighbour's one last month, I was in my teens, and we walked her back and she leant against the wall by the front door and she just went, <whistles> slid down on her knees, <laughs> you know, like, uh, like just, I don't know, not on her knees, but sort of a like crouching position. And uh, and she said exactly what I said, I'm not drunk. And that's a sure sign people are drunk when they say, I'm not drunk. You know, I wasn't drunk, drunk, I don't know, I'd had a couple of glasses of wine, but, you know, but this year, of course, no chance. <clears throat> I know, I haven't liked getting drunk for years anyway, a bit tipsy was all right, but I haven't been drunk now, because I told her I used to drink all the time, a lot of fish. Must be, it must be 20 odd years now, same, we didn't have to say as I was when I stopped smoking, that's 22 years ago. And I stopped, you know, I've been tiddly a few times and felt nice, but not drunk. You know, I mean, I woke up in people's gardens years ago. A bloody, what do you call it? Sissel or, what do you call them? Oh, for, here we go, names again. Nettles, stingy nettles, stuck in me bleeding back or something. Freezing cold, but because you've been so drunk, you don't sort of register. And I staggered out of the bloody garden. I've got into fights, I mean, I'm a waste of time, really. So I haven't been like that for years, you know. Uh, so there we go. So I've got a bit of bugger off. The other half's finished showing up in here, and I'll have it going soon. And that's it, really, actually. I should probably be tired. I seem to be tired just living, you know, without doing anything. I mean, I did the exercises last Thursday. I was fine. Even my heart rate didn't even go up. She said the trainer, she, she Sue, she said uh, you must be really relaxed. It wasn't until like three or four hours later, my eyes, oh, I couldn't keep my open. So, daughter led me into the bedroom again, shut the door, and I just next minute it was nine o'clock <laughs> or twenty one hundred hours that evening. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to bugger off now and uh, wish everybody a, a merry Christmas. Even though it's only, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, eight. oh, the eighth, because it was the eighth down for the party. Yeah. So, you know, really, this is all for one day. And you get to the one day, Christmas Day, and you think, all this hype and fuss for this. It's all right, you got little kids, like, and the boy was little, and the daughter was little, but, you know. And it was good when he was at work, because most jobs I did, I had to work on Christmas Day, and it was double time and a day off. <laughs> it was the only good thing about it. Right, I'm off now. See you later on. Presents to deliver. No, it's not Christmas Eve, is it? See what I mean? See what I mean? Right, bye for now. Good God, nearly 15 minutes rambling about nothing. Bye for now.